Hey everyone, it's me Stagger. I'm making this rather late because I had to wait for these stupid dogs to stop howling and and you know barking and whatnot. I seriously don't know what goes on in that house. It happened in one of my earlier episodes anyway, er, as well. Well, anyway, so we're not here to talk about dogs. Although, um, Sing Kong Shing Shao is actually a pretty decent bootleg game if you haven't played it. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, enough of that. Let's go ahead and play some Telefang. Oh, um, alright, I was doing some stuff, so some of the, uh, I didn't, I didn't think about fixing this earlier. I don't know why. Okay. There we go. Um, that's not... There we go. Okay, I also gotta make this a little bit smaller. There we go, that's better. So... Last time, we did actually quite a bit of stuff. Well, actually not really. Uh, I hate mazes so much. But, we're not worried about that now. So, for... What? That's not right. Um... Okay, so, I'm guessing this is gonna be actually... It's actually full-on eight, because... As I was making the, um... As I was making the, uh... The melody of the day, there was... Four. Then when I saved and reset, there was three. And then... Now there's one. So we have Rosie. Rattata, horseshoe, um, Rosie again, that's horseshoe, right? Yeah, that's horseshoe. Horseshoe again. Oh, get him! And then we have Lester, and Rattata once again. So Rattata, oh, that's the text. Lester, um, Punkiro, horseshoe, uh, Rosie, Horseshoe, Rattata, so Rosie, Rattata, Horseshoe, Punkiro, and Master. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so there's Lester. Are you serious? They're barking again? Well, I already started recording, so might as well keep going. Oh wait, no, that's Lester. Oh, my god. My bad. <laughs> Let me... Yeah, because that was Taro, not not Lester. I thought something was off there. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Uh, okay, who was called? It was... Oh yeah, Punkiro. Rosie in quite a while. I mean, it's pretty dangerous considering the places that we're about to go, but, you know, it's still kind of something that does trouble me here. So, of course, Horseshoe. And, oh yeah, Rattata. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna call it. Yeah, no, never mind. I'm fine with my step strike over Zalia. Oh, sorry! Where was that? I'm sorry. Alright, so basically, if you missed last episode, here's what happened. Oh, a diaroid. That's, that's pretty decent. I'm here. Now tell me... Now tell me what you know about the secret denju. Er, the... The supernatural denju. Hold on there, Curry. You have... You first have to thank your friend there first. Yeah, thanks. You're very kind. Now tell me... Now tell me about the secret... Er, the supernatural denju. 
Well, it all started when I... With the Tree of Life. What is the Tree of Life exactly? The Tree of Life is when... It's where the first Denji was born. So... Who is this first Denji? I honestly don't remember. Just look at the last episode. I left the link to, to the most exciting parts. But yeah, apparently, um, apparently Elder Musa knows about, um, the, knows about the first stand. But what's strange, though, is that this is not, this is not Yaro. It's actually a completely different Denju. Uh, one second, I kind of forgot its name. Here it is, it's Bashul, which translates to banana. Yeah, I, I, I can't make this stuff up here. I mean, whatever. Anyway, yeah, it's best show that he's talking to. Not, um, not the supernatural Denju. Which kind of leads to some major confusion here because best show, if best show was the first Denju, um, wouldn't he be considered the, um, most powerful Denju in a sense? Uh, but yet, yeah, Basho can be found uh, quite common in this in this next place that we're actually going to. So I don't know. That just kind of confuses me a little bit. So yeah, basically, there's just a lot more question and answering going on, and we got ourselves a new D shot. So. Without further ado, you know what time it is, right? It's time to guess that melody! Hello everyone, I am Stagger, and welcome back to Guess That Melody, where I play a melody and you have to guess it. That's the only rules of the game. I may give you a hint, or I may be a jerk and not give you a hint. It all depends on how I feel. Now today's melody goes a little something on the lines of something of a game that I sort of played on my channel. I played it to show off a glitch, but I can't remember if it's on my main channel or my second channel. Either way, here's the melody. Now, those who are fans of this game will probably hate me because of how cheery it sounds. <laughs> well, when you have a limited thing to go off of, this is like the closest that you can get um, in terms of how this sounds. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and listen to it again. But think eerie. And also, the tone is a little bit faster because I can't really change it that much. But essentially, think eerie when you think of this tone. I'll play it again one more, all right, just because. All right, so that is your melody of day. And for hints. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the hints. This melody is actually a melody that you can play Play in game. It's actually, in fact, it's actually in two different games. Maybe even more than I think, but it is, but played a key role in two games. I know that wasn't really much of a hint, but I still believe that you can always guess that. Melody, this has been Stagger. Oh, everyone have a wonderful night. Back to you, Stagger. I right, thank you, Stagger. It was really nice of you. Anyway, so now our goal is to go back into that mountain that was a huge labyrinth. And basically, Musa did say something about like the place between the cacti. And there's actually only one place in the entire game that has cacti. And no, I'm not talking about the desert either. 
I'm talking about Fabville Mountain. Let's see. Let's go over here. Oh wait, the mountain's down here. My mistake. Sorry guys. So yeah, the it should be around here. Come on, we, we, I mean, we're so over leveled, <laughs> we don't need to see these guys. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and go through here, I'm pretty, I hope it's open. Gosh darn it, run! And it's still locked. Okay. No big deal, I guess. I just have to run inside. Alright, hey, what's up, Sand Jim? Oh, uh, sorry. Oh man, this is tough to look at. Uh, <laughs> if you don't remember, I had this I had this exact Denju and I named it Flame. A really fly. But um Yeah, this was like a key freaking Denju Like to my weddings. I mean it was just the best Denju I had in the entire game. And I only had it for one episode. Uh... Dang it. I really liked that Denju. It, it was... That Denju, man. Oh, man. I, uh, man. It's good to see it again, but gosh darn it. It used to be mine. It could have been mine if I didn't, if I wasn't an idiot. Oh, at least I have a Brazalia. A Brazalia. Brazalia is a freaking awesome Denji. You know, I'm actually surprised on how long this series has gone. I was actually just expecting to beat it before Thanksgiving, but um, it's still going on. But my goal now was to beat it before. Um, basically, oh, yeah, basically to beat, uh, beat this game before the holidays. You know what, if I can beat it before Kwanzaa, that'd actually be pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Okay, it looks like I need to go down that zigzag pattern. I need a stagger here. Thanksgiving was actually pretty cool. 
I, I actually, and it was kind of perfect timing too. Um, I was actually completely out of food, like a hundred percent, and I was like, gosh darn it. But then Thanksgiving arrived. Yes, I get to eat like a king, and then eat the leftovers like a god. I am the supernatural Denju. <laughs> I don't know where that is going. But, um, yeah, I've been actually playing other monster, er, uh, monster collecting RPGs. Um, Shi Xiao, uh, Shi Kong. It, it's a really tough, <laughs> it's a really tough thing to pronounce here. Uh, or really just to remember, because. Oh, I don't. First of all, I don't. I don't know Lake of Chinese, so I'm just gonna call it. Um, what should I call it? Like, I know it's like time and space. Um, time and space, beast from the stars. I think that's the literal translation of it. Um, that's a little literal translation of it, but I'm just gonna call it, um... Well, actually, I don't know what to really call it. I've only played, like... I haven't... <sighs> Crap. I haven't played, um... I've only played through, like, near the beginning. I haven't really, um, fully experienced the entire game just yet. But... I do plan on beating it. The game is just ridiculously easy because I... It's nearly impossible to get a game over. Actually, no. It is impossible to get a game over. Once you... Once you're down to one health... Or, once you... Yeah, pretty much. Once you're down to one health... Um... That's it. The game doesn't want you to, to lose. So, it just gives you... It just gives you another chance. Hey, Nataro. Something tells me I'm going the wrong way. I could have sworn there was cacti around here. Some of the monsters are actually pretty cool looking. Um, some of them are actually top, um, pirated off of the Pokemon and Telefang and even Digimon, but um, really the game is actually pretty decent. I mean, the game is actually really decent. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about it. I can't really hate it. And the music is actually pretty stellar. It has been recycled from other um, from other games that um, that the company Vast Fa Fame made. Yeah, this is the company's name, Vast Fame. But you know, it's actually the very first um, company to re relay company to actually do something original. And not only that, but wait, am I going in a circle? So anyway, yeah, it's it's actually the very first uh, bootleg company to actually do something original. They didn't start original, but their entire soundtrack is original. They did start off by, um, I mean, they they have been using, um, hey Luigi, what's up? Anyway, they have been using um, the sound engine from. From Mega Man 3. But that's on 
honestly minor. I mean, they it's still considered an OST because they haven't used their original sound. Because you know, it's it's an actual original soundtrack. Just they just had a little help with someone else's engine. That's it. That really is it. So yeah. Another tire. Wait, I have some deja vu now. Yeah, I'm definitely having some deja vu. Where's this map? I haven't been here, but that's probably because I reset the game at the same time. So. Hopefully I'll figure it out. I hope I'm just not, you know, aimlessly walking into this mountain just because I thought there was cacti here. I could have sworn there was freaking cacti around here. I'm like, what the heck? Oh, wait, yep, we're making progress! No, I thought this looked familiar! Gosh darn it! Reset. You know, today's melody is pretty fitting. I would say where it's from, but... Uh, uh. But basically, yeah, those super fans out there would know exactly where this melody is from, where the melody of the day is from, and, you know, it's kind of fitting for the for today. Pencil, that's actually a pretty rare item. That I thought I would never ever see that in a sentence. A rare item in the game is a pencil. Pencils are very hard to come by. <laughs> if you live in I mean if you if I mean if you're in school, you can actually kind of relate to that. But seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's the place to reset. And I have to figure out how to get to that staircase. I actually have to go back? Reset! Okay. Take four. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, ha I haven't been here, but I'm under the same floor, so. Ah! Like how Brazilia or Brazilia. Like yeah, if I had to wait, 
<laughs> Where's Elia just flies? Like, just levitates. I don't know, I just found that amusing. Why does it find anything I do amusing? <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Definitely reaching new heights, which is good. Very, very good. Okay, so we got ourselves a tire. And we're back here. So yeah, I definitely am wasting time and just going around in circles. You know how that makes me feel? Very irritated. Yeah, because, well, actually this looks different. Okay, but yet we're in the similar area here. Oh, okay. I think you get it now. There's actually a spot I missed. I am stubborn, and I'll figure this out. I mean, I'm not completionist stubborn, but dang it. When something annoys me, I must figure it out. Or else it will annoy me forever and ever. Ah, oh, that's it! Very angry face. Very, very angry face. That makes me very angry face. I was supposed to go this way. Yeah, look at this. Okay, finally, let's telephone! Holy crap. That's what he meant by going to the past the Bad Bills Mountains. Okay. So, sand. Okay, so you have one sand denju, and it's a coward. One sand denju that's a coward, and then two grassland denjus. One that's very stubborn, and one that's slow. That, that's faithful. So this is your biggest. So honestly, this is actually your biggest threat. Despite me having one um, wrestling denju, this is your biggest threat. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm gonna get a water denju just because, and a sand denju. Well, um... Yeah, let's go for a one with 100 FP. Okay, so let's 
go ahead and grind or really I know that's another term for snarl, that's what it is. Snarl at your sand denju. And let's snarl at your threat denju. Actually that Brazelia is also kind of a threat, but I'm not too worried about it. Epic one damage! <laughs> Alright. Pistol whip that thing. Oh wait, you're not a sand danger. Okay, let's stomp on it. 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 I don't know where this is going. Song's copyright. Anyway, so yeah, let's just go ahead and just stomp, stomp on the ground, jump, jump, jump the bit, jump, stomp the ground, jumping all around. Yeah, that's right. Speeches claws. Where am I actually? I'm on. I don't know what that says. Alright, back to 100 FD. I'll be right back. I gotta figure out what this is. Okay, so I'm in the I6 Force, or Esox, whatever. And let's see what I can get here. I can actually get. Okay, I already have a Warrata. I had that. So, really, a. Um, a good. A, a Gorkuma or an Arm Crab. Those are my options here. My Brazelia should be able should be fine right here. Um Yeah, let's go ahead and look for one real fast. Oh look at that! Already a venue I don't have. Okay. Forest. It gets flying. Let's bring in Lester in there as well. I would really like this guy actually because I already have a water denji that can I can pretty much come over here pretty fast. I wouldn't mind another forest entry because the only forest entry I have is pretty much Rattata, and that's it. Yes! Got it! Alright, so what to call you? Hmm. Let's call you. Oh, okay. Let's try this. Oh, I know. I hope that's spelled right. Hey Zeus. Alright, let's do it. Hey Zeus. Okay, so now I have to grind Hey Zeus, so I'll be right back. Oh boy, level 80. That's gonna be a wild ride. Oops, darn it, darn it, didn't need to do that. Okay. 
Well, that was a doozy. Level 80, same spot, and less than 30 minutes. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you. Uh, look how many comic books I had to use. Oh my gosh. Did I find it? Yeah. I went from 99 to 20, 28. Yeah. That's, uh, that's quite a bit. I'm gonna call uh, Zep Strike get back out here. I have a feeling that this is going to be a running theme here. Alright. So you have what I believe is a grassland. A grassland and a forest. Alright, I can deal with this. Okay, for my grasslands. Bam! For the forest. Bam. I know they're coming late, but that you know what? The best thing about Brasilia is that it can stall. And stall it shall. Okay, so let's see here. Pranika's pretty tough. Despite having the lowest attack set in the game. If it gets its demo attack, that, that's when you know you're pretty much screwed. Um, okay, I think you're the biggest threat because you're the only evolved Denju. I mean, give or take, the rat one can't evolve, but still, it's not that big of a threat. Ah, stall tactics. You gotta love it. Alright, now the team has arrived. Okay, let's put your hoof... Put your hoof down on the... on Panika. Like, in the fan translation, they put Panika... They spell Panika with a C instead of a K. And that's probably due to the etymology, but it always bothers me because due to phonics, um, you're forced to say Punisa instead of Panika. And so it kinda confuses kinda confuses me a little bit why they translate it with a C instead of a K. But um I don't know, I guess... Maybe there's less of phonics than I think there, there is, but... Who knows. Still though, I don't really like the fact that they spell it with a C instead of a K. Um, I can go on ranting all about- Oh, are you kidding me? I could've gotten this guy?! Ah, oh, man, that sucks. I don't know, it's just some cool looking Denju. I know it isn't really practical, but, you know? Yeah, you know, two, one of two thoughts come in mind. It's like Suicune because of that, because its second head looks like a purple flowing mane. But it can also be Malawile from just the, just the fact that it has two heads. Sandenju. Three Sandenju? Uh, why? Just, why? Man, that's my only nearby water Denju. 
could call noisy. Could be dangerous. Maybe it bends you immediately. So you're, you're all about attack. You're all about attack. You can poison. You can lower attack. You can also poison. You can cause stun, but you. You know what? Let's just go for it. You know why? Because Brazelia can stall. And stall, it will do. Guess it really doesn't matter which one I stall first. None of them have a stubborn nature, so... Should be fine. Or at least I don't think they did. I wasn't, too, I wasn't paying too much attention to their nature. Okay! Pistol! One hit KO! Excellent job, Amanda. Alright, you stall. And Noisy has joined the party. And that's not good. Okay, stall! Alright. Pistol! One hundred damage? This guy has very low HP. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Pistol! One hit KO! And it's down! The challenger has won the match! Memories, if you, re if you know where that's from, good job. You're <laughs> you have nostalgia. Alright, here we go, another T-Fanger. Grunt. Okay, we got this guy, this guy, and this guy. Okay, they're all grassland, which is actually okay cool with me. Because I got myself a sand and you, and I got myself another one here, so let's go. Okay, Brazelia versus Brazelia. Let's do this. Stall tactics. Let's do it. <laughs> Stall tactics. On your Brazilia. Because I know what it's capable of. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Finally got my sand entry. Great. Awesome. And they both recovered. Okay, Brazelia is the biggest threat. Stall tactics! And you fail. Stall tactics! <laughs> ah, I just love this. Finally! Jeez. About time. Okay. Let's just... Yeah, let's just... Let's go for the biggest threat, Brazelia. Okay, so you're still frightened. Dang, 212? Wow. And put your hoof down. We did it, guys. 
Griselia is now level 82. Hey, Rezzy, what's up? Oh, sorry. I need to get so offended. Whatever I said. Okay. So, grassland, grassland, grassland. Okay. Do the same tactics again. Okay, so right now, I guess the biggest threat would be this guy. Oh, are you kidding me? Already? And I failed. I'm just lucky that the other two are really slow. Honestly, that was my saving grace right there. Seven damage. Stall tactics! <laughs> I just love doing that. What, you can fly? Are you kidding me? Okay, lesson learned. Okay, you increase your attack. Rizalia is gonna put you to fear. Alright, Luigi, take it out! And you missed. Alright, Sanjem, take it out! You know, because of my mishap on um, the beginning, I'm gonna make this episode a little bit longer. Okay, stomp on it! Epic one damage! Ah, <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, let's make sure you don't fly. That might be a good idea. And you take it out. Okay, and you take that out. Oh, this area. If I remember correctly, it was south, west, north. Yay! I did it. Um, if you're playing, um, if you're playing power version. It's south. Oh no, it's west, south, and then north. So yeah, basically, if you go the wrong direction, you just reset again. Hey, there's an arm crab. I don't feel like dealing with you. Yeah, essentially that's what you do, but this is speed version. There we go. Something that's actually kind of interesting, I forgot to mention here, is that this area right here, um, there's actually every, it's actually the, um, basically the Denju of, here. I think it's, Here it is, I think. Yeah, this is it. It's actually the um, Denju from Toronto Village. The reason for this is actually because uh, of an oversight. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to go down there and just show you. Okay, let's fight this guy then. Yep, this is it. Look at 
look at that. Level 3, Zenatsu. <laughs> hey, Horseshoe! Want to see your past self? If I can find you. There you are. <laughs> you know, it, it's incredible though. Like, you know, back then it looked like that, and now it's this? That's actually impressive. You know what? I'm just gonna pretend it's like, you know, the very beginning here. Hey, Horseshoe! Look at your past self here! <laughs> That's so awesome to look at, you know? You know, I chose the perfect melody of the day. I wish I could say it so much. <laughs> it is so fitting for this episode, I swear. Oh my gosh. I, I am actually kind of proud of myself there. You know what? I'm gonna let Horshi take the honors, but it's gotta do it before these demo attacks. Oh, what the heck. Full out demo attack! <laughs> I get to level 3 Sinatsu. <laughs> Just for funsies. Look at that, 255 damage. And super effective hit. <laughs> and what's my phone number? No! Only... You're messing with the big guys here. You're messing with the big guys here. <laughs> You're not getting my phone number. <laughs> ah, that'd be too much fun. Oh, whoops, I messed up somehow. Okay. So it is... South? Oh! Oh, Jose, er, yeah, hey Zeus, I kinda forgot to change your phone number. Sorry about that, er, sorry, not the phone number, but ringtone. I was like wondering, wait, why is it sounding like this? Why not my custom ringtone that I made for you, because, or I made, I made for everyone really, because I was very proud of the way that it turned out. I'm still proud of this ringtone. Okay, that's enough. This gets kind of bothering me. I think this is actually a, a, the way you're supposed to go. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. Okay, Brazilia. Level 49? Wow, you actually have some pretty weak Denju. But either way, they're all grassland. And I will take you out. To dinner. We got two Brazilians, which kind of worries me, actually. I'm gonna fast forward through this battle a little bit, because you basically get what I'm doing here. Stall tactics for the win. You know, we're going all Generation 2 up in here. Generation 2 Pokemon, where it was all about stall tactics. Oh no, 7 damage, I'm so scared. But I can't get too overconfident here because remember 
remembering from what happened from last time. Oh wait, why didn't I just kill the Griselda? Oh well, it's no big deal. Are you kidding me? No, I already have a Brazilia. And he's mine. I call him Zeb Striker. For his striking resemblance. Oh! Alright. I should probably save before I enter into this antenna tree. Just in case the save actually fails. Okay. Go away, Warata! Oh, it's locked. Oh, well, that's just dandy. Oh, Kai! Kai! Sorry, one one sec. Just pretend there's a border. Is that Kai? What are you doing here? It's my own business. Do you know? My own business. It doesn't really revolve around you. The the ruins is where the supernatural danger is sleeping, right? You may know something, but you can't go forward anyway. Come back on. Uh, go back right up. Oh. Turn back down. So you choose to stay. I will show you my power. <laughs> I'll let you know what your weakness. Come on. Okay, so we have Gymnus. Largius. And that's it. Or really, it's just a uh, Kokaru? I think that's what it's called. Or, I don't know. But yeah. Okay, so yeah, we have a grassland and a flying Pinchu. Which is fine. So... Okay, so, oh boy, that's, that's actually bad. Let's get Luigi on there. As for the flying Denju, I'm going to require a hill Denju. But I don't have any hill Denju ready to go. So... Oh wait! What am I thinking? Okay, so... I don't have the flying denju ready to go. I'm gonna need hot flying denju. Oh wait, no! I have a grassland denju! <laughs> okay, that's right. Hill is weak against grass. Okay, gotcha. Hill is weak against grass, so let's go for that and I'm gonna get, need to get rid of that. So I need a hill denju that's willing to go. Um I already have a staller, so let's go for Horseshoe, I guess. We can also go for Taro. Let's change it up a bit. Let's go for Taro. Okay, so the biggest threat is actually the Kokai. Even though that this has a lot more power, um... I'm honestly not too worried about it. So let's go for this guy. And it failed. That's not good. Okay, there we go. Are you kidding me? Let's 
install it. Ah, are you kidding me? Taro? Just... Just barely, Taro. Okay, you're 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 here right when I'm about to destroy him. That's fantastic. You know? Alright, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna pause it real fast. Okay. Let me defeat those guys to protect the supernatural Denju. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Protect those suffering from the supernatural Denju. What? Wait, so Kai is actually protecting the Den the supernatural Denju or Hold on Kai. Will it be better if we fought side by side? Arr! Let's go anyway, we have the same We have the same goal. Got a call from but <laughs> But got him. Hello, HP Dash. If you get lost in the confusing forest, strong guys should rotate in the order of west, south, north, while speedy guys should rotate in the order of southwest, north. <laughs> oh, wow. That's actually really cool. They actually give you both uh, power and speed's directions. Same thing <laughs> from from Pokero. All right, let's do this. Brand new location. So, let's see what Denji we can get here. Okay, so to be perfectly honest, the only one I'm really interested in is actually the rarest one. Um, Despacus. So, if I were to actually wait till I get higher up, well, actually to basement 2, which is lower down, I can actually get a higher chance of getting a Despacus. However, Despacus is actually available. It's actually, if I remember correctly, from playing, um, from playing eight years ago, this Bacchus can is actually a Denju that you can, um, that you can actually see before you fight. So, hopefully, I can actually get uh, do that. So let's go ahead and just. Okay, we're in basement two, right? I think so. Oh, and it's full of Saneba. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, the Spockus. All right. And he also got a, um, I forgot what this is called. But I know it's a variation of Gust and another one. Oh boy. Come on, I hope I get a Spockus. Okay, so, fly so they're all flying Denji. Flying Denju, so Forest Denju would be pretty bad. Hill, I don't have any ready to go Hill Denju, so I just have to do what I have to do. And that is Stealth Tactics! No, but seriously. This actually really worries me here. Uh, I don't have a proper matchup. But since I'm level 80, it shouldn't be too, too bad. Yeah, let's just, let's just stop this box. Are you kidding me? No! Okay, take two. Okay, that's not bad. 
I can handle that. I really love this music. Okay, stomp on it! Okay, one down, two more to go. That's right, these guys can fly, can they? Oh, it's fine if they fly. Yep, there we go. Oh, and it failed! Okay, let's use... Hook! Come on, do I get it to Spockus? Darn it! Alright, Species Claws, it's no big deal. Still, that is rather irritating. Ah, no! Okay, so you have this guy, that guy, and that guy. Nothing I really want. You know, I got a new Denju, but I haven't been using it. But, you know, this is a Nuzlocke. I can't go experimenting here. Uh, lives are at stake. Okay? They're on the grill, and they're cooking to a nice, well-done steak. I really did not want to lose Brazilia. That would be the absolutely worst nightmare there, is to lose my Brazilia after I got it, after 10 freaking episodes of not having a Brazilia. I finally got a Brazilia and I'm not letting it go. Let's, um, yeah, let's let you stop on this guy. Oh, come on! Yeah, that guy's still feared. Oh, crap. Okay. Fear! Fear it! Fear it! Fear it! Okay, good. Come on, don't miss. There we go. That's all I did? That's not a lot of damage. That is very little damage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
I would actually be happy with this. Oh, and I have a high chance of getting it, too. That's exciting. And then that's under the Species Clause because I actually had one in, I believe, Episode 3. Called Diet Coke. I, I nicknamed it Diet Coke. Anyway. So, Forest Denju. Oh, but then I need to worry about that sky, too. Oh, well. Stall Tactics! I love Stall Tactics. <laughs> I, I just really like Brazilian in general. I, I mean, like... If it was any other Denju I was doing stall tactics with, I would be like, nah. I mean, I, I did the same thing with uh, when the Taro was my main Denju, but, you know, it, it wasn't as beautiful as doing it with Brazilia. Oh, crap. Oh, thank you! Because look at this, Brazilia is like super fast. It ain't taking crap from no one. It's like, oh, you wanna, you wanna take a turn? Well, too bad. I'm fast. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm faster than you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The high HP. Oh, wow. I was actually worried it wasn't gonna work, but dang. All right, I accept the terms and conditions. Oh, come on, really? Fear! Put it to fear! I do not want to see it attack at all. Fun with this guy attacking. Because he's made for defense and not attack. Alright. Oh, yes! 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 I'm actually happy with this. I am very happy with this. I am super happy with this. I am liking this. Now, the obvious nickname would be Whale Lord, but I don't feel like calling it that. <laughs> what should I call it, though? Okay, what about this? Pretty sure that's a wall. Or that could be wa as well. It's a simple name. Wall. Let's just call it wall. Be right back. I'm gonna see if this is spelled correctly. Okay, I'm not getting uh, katakana results, so I'm just gonna call it by the actual way you call the wall so it's like I think it's Kaji Kabe this is actually my very first um, pretty much my very first hiragana um, name that I give I've given anyone I got a foot cramp uh, e, bu, e. so that's yeah that's big one sec Okay, now that my foot cramp is back to normal, but yeah. I believe- Ow! Okay, there it is again! Oh my god! Okay. Okay, now I think the foot cramp is gone. But yeah, this is my first hiragana name I have in the entire game. Gotta break the, uh, cycle eventually. Hey, Rattata. Uh, look, I'm sorry that you don't have... I'm sorry that you don't have a katana... Er, ka uh, hiragana name. I am terribly sorry that I don't know hiragana that well. And that I did not give you a name in hiragana. 
because I am a Mary can and I speak English by default. Oh, there's the dead. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, okay. Oh, you know what? That's fine. You know? I have a freaking wall. <laughs> anyway. No, seriously. The, I mean, I even named it wall. I mean, that's how much I love this. <laughs> Let's look how much HP that guy has. And that's more HP than all my Denju. Like, you know, oops. You know, Amanda has less HP. Freaking <laughs> Lester has less HP. <laughs> hey Zeus, Luigi, everyone has less HP. Even, even, even Fungus has less HP. Well, actually no, it has more HP. But you know, at level 53, that much HP. WTF, OMFG, wall everybody. <laughs> I, I, I just love it. I, I, I love my wall already and I haven't even started using it. I have a wall. <laughs> you know, now I can actually... Oh, actually, no. I could have done it with Amanda, but... Um, you know, I can actually do Synergy here. I can have a, a Grassland, an Aquatic, and... I believe a Hill. I think that's what I needed. Yeah, that's what I needed. Um, no, an aquatic and a sky, that's what it is. You're too late! <sighs> I do want to accept it though, but I can't. Those lock rules, I can't. I, I, I'm sorry, I just, I just can't. It's very unfortunate too, because I was actually kind of looking forward to having another flying Denju, other than other than Pankoro and Rosie, because Pankoro doesn't really necessarily do much in terms of well, just being there, really. His attack is okay. Its attack is pretty decent, but other than that, really, Pankoro doesn't really do much, mainly because it has. A carefree nature and also it's pretty far away but and Rosie I never really seem to use anymore because of well how far away she lives and you know it, it's a seven turn wait I, I don't have much time for that so sorry Rosie but I hate to say it too but you're obsolete I can't use you anymore. Punkyoto is actually a lot closer. So I can use him more, but... Rosie... You're too far away. I'm walking back. So that way I can grind my wall. Oh man. I, 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 I'm just so... I, I am, though, very proud that I have a wall. <laughs> here. Out here.
hope that they have a lot more magazines because or comic books actually. Because if they don't have comic books, I would be very sad. Uh huh. Oh, that's not serious. All right. Now that we're kind of in the green zone of, you know, there we go. So I am gonna level grind. And by the way, for those curious, which is pretty much no one, because I don't have any views for this game. Uh, that's bad. Um. I can't really necessarily cheat to have, you know, like say that, you know, a Denju fainted during, um, you know, a Denju fainted during the time I was grinding, mainly because that would cause me to lose a random Denju's telephone number. And so you'll actually see me with less Denju than I do have right now. So it's impossible for me to really cheat in this game in terms of doing a Nuzlocke, so I just want to point that out there. Anyway, so yeah, I'll be right back. In fact, I'm actually out of time, but I'll go ahead and show you at level 80 anyway, and I'll get back to the one point at where I was. I'm kind of just filling up the map at the moment. I'm not really going in any general direction, just trying to fill up the map. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, Wall is now level 80, has 203 HP, but honestly, I was, I was expecting a lot more than that, but it's alright. Now I'm gonna enter into this battle so that way I can actually raise that final FD. Okay, there we go. my Brazilia back out and sorry let's go ahead and walk back all the way down all the way through to where we were The wall! Let's bring in the wall! Okay, I didn't need to bring in the wall, but it's alright. The wall is still there. And you know what's actually interesting about the wall? Actually, let's go ahead and bring in wall real fast here. Even make it an even bigger wall. <laughs> More defense. Oh, at the dead end. Oh, yeah, I guess we gotta go this way. Brazilia.
No, are there actually like poisonous swamps in the world? Like, what is the? I mean, what is the uh, thought that comes to mind to making pretty much swamps poisonous? Is it really like a dumping ground for most people, or is it just because of the bad smell? Um, yeah, that's actually something to look up. Bring in the wall! Actually, it's weak against this guy. That's not a good thing. Let's heal up. There we go. Okay, I went down here. Over here. And that's where I left off. So! Next time, we're going to be exploring a little bit more deeper into the ruins. Find out what is what is up with Kai. And figure out... And let's finally destroy the supernatural Denju. So, with that being the case, that is it. And I will be seeing ya. Farewell, I guess. Well, not farewell yet. That's not until the very last episode. <laughs>